Hello boys and girls, part 14 is here and it's all about the fuel pump. Now to get to the fuel pump you need to remove the seat, the, the bottom portion and the, the back portion. The, the bottom portion has two bolts on the bottom from the side kind of where you keep your uh, le under your legs. They're actually pretty visible. I think they are 12 mil. Now the back seat or the rear seat, whatever, you need to remove three bolts and you're going to see those once you remove the bottom part then the rear slides up and away very easy so i got to remove the fuel pump assembly i'm going to put it on the table you're going to see me replace the filter and the actual fuel pump that comes with the kit the walbro 255 so guys as always like subscribe comment do me a favor, click the subscribe button. It's, it's right there. It's going to take you a second. I'll wait. You got it? All right. Thank you. Enjoy the video and I'll see you soon. I was twisting it clockwise it did not work you can kind of you can see the fuel tank ends right here so you gotta twist it or turn it counterclockwise and then slowly get it out it, it is a tight fit I thought I had to remove the uh, the float but I didn't have to uh, you saw me use compressed air uh, brake cleaner everything make sure this area once you get this plate off do a good job of cleaning up this whole area here compressed air is best when you take these clips off put them back on into the inside the fuel lines that's how they install back clean tank i don't see any corrosion i mean you're gonna get some stuff in there but don't, don't worry about it the uh, the fuel filter will catch it's almost impossible not to get anything inside. Anyways, this bracket was kind of an issue too. Just uh, push it back as far as you can. And if this is somewhat soft and you see no visible cracks on the seal, you can reuse it. I'm, I'm going to clean it up and oil it up a little bit and reuse it. Keep these, keep them in your, uh, if you have a toolbox, keep these in one of your drawers. This attracts moisture, your tools won't rust as much.
This one is actually longer. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is there adjustment? No, there isn't. I'm gonna have to cut this. They provide a hose much longer. I'm just gonna cut this one. Let's see by how much. So I'd say 3 8 So that's interesting. The nipple there, the nipples are touching. That's a problem. Try the STI one. So that might work actually. I don't want to force it in now. But now this hose is too short. because it barely fits over that line yeah the factory is a little thinner smaller smaller in the, this tube here it's smaller in diameter on the factory one it somewhat fits over that Good. The filter was so close to this side of the of this box that I actually pinched it when putting this back together. So careful of that. 
Okay. Take this off. Should probably not secure the bracket right now. I'm gonna remove this holes just to make things easier. Okay, again. I'm just gonna cut these off here. I'm gonna keep this, this this the strainer bag. I don't know. I'm bad with names. Forgive me. Okay, time to put this back together. All right, super tight. All should be good. Looking good, back into the tank. fuel pump I didn't connect it back because I need to crank the engine and build up oil pressure so you can either disconnect your ignition uh, fuse which I'll show you in a second ignition ignition I would think it would be this one your ignition fuse which would be the 15 amp this one here the blue one So when you disconnect uh, the fuel lines at the pump, 
you gotta be careful. You want to do. You need to get rid of the, that, that pressure somehow. So you either put some rags over the lines, uh, over the pump where where you're disconnecting it, so the the rag will absorb the fuel because it will spray everywhere. And you know that area of the pump. That's that's the outside. It will drain on the floor basically. Or you can try to and find your fuel pump fuse or relay, disconnect that or take it out and start the car and it will it should run for a few seconds and it will die out. I didn't have to worry about any of that because I had the, the fuel lines off the car at the engine. So I have no pressure there at all. All right, guys, that is it for this one. Next one. We're probably going to crank it and build up oil pressure and quite possibly start it and drive it, hopefully. All right, see you soon.